up guys, Crazy Blackman 108 here. I'm back in our video. Uh we were look right late night, uh went to a dance tonight, so voice is real sore from yelling and mosh pits. Regular stuff like that. So anyway, uh couple updates. <clears throat> okay, first off, I'm sorry for not being a review of the Tech Fit knee pads last weekend. Stuff got complicated, things happened and just it just became real hard to work with, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, tomorrow, 18th. What was supposed to come out on the 18th? Well, let's go to this YouTuber right here. Uh, one, two, three, four. S a sab uh, sababa s a b a b. All right. He left me a comment saying that the review is tomorrow on the unboxing of the 773s. Okay. That's them there, right? It's a sexy box still, right? Even though my web webcam just this built in webcam is not the greatest. Wait, what's still inside the box? Oh. Oh. Well, here's what happened about the this shoe guys. As you see, this shoe is really pretty, right? Really nice. You see, it's really nice and gold. It's got the sticker right here, you know, stuff I talked about already in the uh, unboxing. Well, had a conversation with my dad. Right after I got done with that, he had come home and stuff, and he said that these shoes would look too nice, and he said that I should probably just keep these and not wear them because of the fact you know, Derek didn't get to wear these in the Olympic, the injury, the year with the injury. This is his planned Olympic shoe, you know, all that good stuff. And at first, I was kind of like, ah, oh, but I gotta do a review. I was like, oh man, people are wanting a review for me. Well, then my grandmother said it. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> they're right. It's so pretty, though. I don't want to mess it up, though. <laughs> So, after talking with him about it and stuff, got another pair on the way. Just got shipped today. Should be here by Tuesday. I'll run to school some, hooping them some. And see, the, see, I could do a review, you know, just like this. I could tell you all this about the shoe, but I can't tell you if it's good for basketball. I can't tell you, for example, if the Rose 773 should be the ideal basketball shoe for you because of the grip on the bottom, even though it's the same as this grip, but everything up top isn't the same that's the only problem so and I mean they do look very similar I'm not gonna lie but there's just there's other things to the shoe you know there's other things that I need to look at the shoe and experience for myself and like for example down here this foam feels really really hard and that's not a bad thing as far as I know that's actually good that means it was absorbed the impact real well. Anyway, so when it comes to getting a review out of this shoe, not one yet. But then the other good thing about those too is after I might get my other pair of these, I'll be able to do a review with just a brand new pair of them, brand new, fresh. Depending on which box is in better condition and which shoe. American. It's just the only reason why I'm not wearing these now and just getting a test. Get, I'm going to hoop tomorrow, Saturday, right? But, yeah, so, ch little change of plans for what's going to happen tomorrow. I think I'm going to try to upload a review of the TechFit knee pads. If the knee pad, if I can't edit that right, then I'm just going to go and upload a video of the Rose 2.5 School of Hard Knocks. And in case y'all don't know, that's like the blue colorway. Y'all will see it, you know, tomorrow if that's how things go. Another update: if y'all don't know, uh, there's a YouTuber called Go Bulls Fan. And my phone just vibrate. I don't know what that means. Actually, he just messaged me right now on Facebook. Oh no, that's my other friend. They have the same name. Anyway, uh. Him and I are teaming up with his website, Hoop Traffic. 
Now, in case you don't know what that is, it's going to be a you know website for all like Adidas stuff, basically basketball related stuff. And you know, he gives you a better explanation of it than I do. And eventually, I know he's going to have a more a video talking more about it, which I will eventually link us to. But from now on, all my shoe reviews are really they're coming to you, you know, for hoop traffic. But not just that. I mean, they're also I'm also doing them for you know Adidas and stuff, you know, because I, I enjoy reviewing the shoes. Also on Facebook, you all probably see me on the fan page often, just you know replying to people's comments for them. Also, you'll you also see me on the uh, on the Twitter page pretty often. Another update: Derek Rose has a Twitter now. I also have a Twitter. I'll maybe share that someday, someday. But uh, to anyone that's keen on their eye on profile pictures, you should probably know if it's me or not just by looking at it. Another thing I want to talk about is, as you see, the shoes are, there's not too many uh, shoes left. Uh, so, certain things, you know, gonna have to, this guy's going to be angry at me. I'm doing a video. Dude. I don't know why I just typed that so slow. Like I said, I'm tired. Anyway, do got, you know, a couple shoes left. But good thing is, 7 th 7.3s has 11 colorways. But I'm not getting all 11. The, the Rose 2.5s. Those got there's only two colorways I don't have. It's the St. Patrick's days and the Brenda's, and it's just like I should get them. But at the same time, it's like but you already got like all the colors. Calm down. <laughs> but then the but then the inner Derek Rose and Adidas fans saying, but there's only two more colorways. What can it hurt? <laughs> but and it's funny because. I actually have two other extra pairs of 2.5s. I got the black, the black and red colorway, which is the away colorway, and then I got the ones that Derek signed for me. You know, not actually up in here. I actually got them someplace else. Actually, I move the location of them every now and then so people can't find them. But yeah, so on the shoe side, things that's how that's going to go. Rose threes, from what I understand, from what I've been seeing on forums and stuff, and Derek talking October. I don't, I'll, in all honesty, I don't know if you should wait for the Rose 3.0s or the 773s, but, you know, whatever you choose, cool. If you want to see a better in-depth look at 3.0s, go to Soul Collector. I'm also on there. My name on there is Crazy Black Man 108 Rose. But if you want to see a more in-depth look at the uh, Rose 3.0s, you can go there. You can see a couple colorways, but not just, uh, but not just there. Uh, also, you can go to, uh, Slam magazine on fa not Facebook on YouTube, and they got a video. There's one that's 18 man falling, says uncut Derek talking about his ACL injury and stuff. And that's like the biggest thing that Derek's done. It's all with the you know hashtag the return. By the way, I love that. I actually even thought of that, but I didn't say nothing except for a couple of days before it actually happened. It's just it's weird. I don't know how stuff happens to me. Just real that stuff happens, but. That's something uh, to look forward to. Derek's return. Uh, seven seven threes. Those. That's the team oriented shoe. If it's good, I'm definitely gonna. If it's a really good shoe, I'm definitely gonna suggest that you get it for your school team this year. Rock Adidas. You know, Rock your favorite player, Derek Rose. Anyway, back to the Slam Magazine thing. If you go there, go to about. I want to say it's almost 15 to 14 minutes through the video. Derek, the, I can't remember the guy's interviewing, but he's you know says, "Can we show the shoe?" And then Derek shows the shoe, and he's talking about the 3.0s, talking about the things in it, real great, talking about the clothing line, the D Rose symbol. When that when that shoe comes out, that review, I'm telling you, dang! I also got a plan video that I'm gonna do with my nice camera, wherever that thing is, about Derek, actually, uh, you know, just about the the return, and then. October 4th, I got another special video playing, if you get what I'm saying. Now, to the anime fans and the Star Wars fans, and even though there's not too many of you, unfortunately, if there was more of you, I'd be encouraged to do more things, but then again, I need to do more so that you would be encouraged to do it. Anyway, uh, I do plan to try to get back into it. I really am. I mean, with anime and manga, it's just... It's just so full of chapter reviews, and you know I got friends. I got friends on here that do chapter reviews, and it's like, you know, I respect your thing, 
it's what you want it's what you want to do but it's just like come on man chapter reviews I mean then discussion videos I don't even know about those but box sets that's the bad I do plan to review do plan to give you my opinion on things I know these should be way more oriented and I, I remember I also thought about doing weekly show and jump uh, reviews but then I just thought about that I'm like that's the dumbest idea and you know I even gave doing chat reviews a chance but just no and geez I'm looking at myself I need a haircut here that I'm just tired and my just my hair's all out of mess just anyway guys that's the scope this will the scope God. the scoop pretty much reviews they're coming I'm sorry I'm so sorry <laughs> And uh, actually, before I get off this, let's read. I have five new comments. Actually, six. So, a what's in the bag video. I actually recorded one of those with my friend. He helped me record it. And I liked it, but at the same time, I didn't. And I can update it because I use a couple different bags. Sometimes I use a backpack. Sometimes I use this big old bag Adidas gave me. I love that bag, by the way, guys. Love it. I need to make a thank you. Another thank you. Uh. I need to make another thank you video. Love that bag. Oh. Uh, so that's something I do plan on doing soon. Taylor Gang only. Uh, this is a bomb shoe. Hoping to get a Foot Locker tomorrow. The Rose 773s are great also. Get those on a black or gray colorway when comes out. A black or gray colorway should be coming out. And worst case scenario, from what I've been hearing speculated by rumors, the 3.0s are going to be... My my uh my Adidas I guess cool I don't I don't know what the price point is gonna be though that's gonna be interesting that's gonna be interesting uh are the speed wraps loose or tight well it all depends really let me grab these they're sitting right here these are the beat up ones right that I wear in my hoop outdoors they're tight I mean they're I mean, it all depends. Just it all depends on how tight you pull the strap. You can make it like so tight your ankle can't breathe. But I'm more comfortable with with it somewhat loose, but at the same time tight. Not super tight, just so I can have enough protection. And I swear, my ankle must get stepped on like seven times. Like, okay, that's exaggerating. My ankle gets stepped on a lot when I play. Okay, that's a better answer. And just speed rep has saved my ankle so many times. It's just not even funny. So. I mean, it's it's worth getting. It's worth getting. Uh, and yeah, this is the one about the shoe review. Kenzie, Kenzie, love you too. Let's just put that out there. Anyway, uh, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Reviews will be coming. So will be coming. And I know, Go Bulls fan, I, mean, I know you've been talking about it. You want me to do a video outside? It's another thing Adidas gave me, by the way. I'm thinking I might be able to get video with this. I thought about that uh, just when I was sitting here doing this. I was looking at this, and this might work, man. But also, uh, some people said do a live stream. Uh, say in the comments down below, if I did a live stream, like let's say Blog TV or something, how many of you guys would join me? Uh, I know for sure I'm going to be on a live stream tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully, me, maybe me and Chris will combine on this. I'm supposed to do some talk about Star Wars Battlefront 3. Uh, but yeah, Neil Gamespark, Chris Ray Demma, uh, we're probably gonna join eventually on there. I don't know if we're gonna watch another episode of Bakuman. Jeez. But anyway, guys, you know, I hope that from here on out, you know, the channel is, you know, and quality continues to prove. I'm, you know, in the 700 range of my subscribers. I want to get to a thousand. I want to get even more. Now, I really appreciate you guys supporting me. I appreciate Adidas a lot. I mean, I've made so many friends. I appreciate the anime community, even though I don't agree with most of the things that are in it. But I just appreciate my fans that are out here that keep on commenting on my videos and keep on giving me views and keep on getting me actually known and spreading me out and subscribing. I really appreciate that, guys. And I really, you know, I just haven't made a, a formal video about it. And just, yeah, so, uh, prayers for Derek. Derek, man. I got a video talking about that still. School started for me, guys, so videos during the week surprisingly might happen more because I just feel like I need to do something during a break. I'll probably record something. But I got videos recorded in that are in the pipeline for, you know, 
uploading. So yeah, I rambled on for 14 minutes. Now you guys probably want to get let go. Heck, I got tired of this on vlog practically. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed Crazy Blackman 108 saying peace out. I'm gonna force review. You. Uh, fast don't lie. I'm all in, and I'm ready for the return of Mr. MVP, the greatest, the second greatest Chicago Bull ever, Derrick Rose. That dude, just amazing. And just one last thing before I end this video. I was looking, you know, there was like my Rubio rest, but all them getting signed at this would be nice, you know. I'd love that for Adidas. But then I was looking, and I'm like, I'm like, huh. Second highest paid contract is the White Howard, six million. What's your next jump? One hundred and eighty five million for the MVP Derek Rose repping the Chicago Bulls. This is crazy when I thought about that. Hundred and eighty five million dollars shoe contract. And I was actually there when he signed it too. That's the other crazy thing. Man. Anyway guys, hope you all enjoy. Hope you all stay to the very end. If you stay to the end, actually I want you to comment with the word no Comment with hashtag the return for Derek. Share us on Twitter. Go follow Derek on uh, Twitter, you know, so you can follow his comeback to the court. Thank you all for watching, guys. Love all my fans. 16 minutes. Until next time, guys. Peace.